last four years at the University of North Texas pursuing my degree in jazz studies. In three of those years, I spent with the One O'Clock Lab Band, which is the school's premier large jazz ensemble. And those three years in the band really, really taught me a whole lot about playing music, how to play with a group, meeting people, taught me a lot about myself, and it taught me a whole lot about how to record. Uh, for me, this album is about documenting what I've learned in school and in my community, and pretty much everything that I've learned since I've been playing music so far. The tunes, I've got two original tunes of mine on the album, and some new arrangements of older tunes. Uh, I particularly like taking older tunes and trying to sort of reintroduce them. Uh, like there's a song that Nat King Cole, uh, he recorded called My Lips Remember Your Kisses. And he's the only, pretty much the only recording I can find of anyone doing it, but I love the tune, so I wanted to sort of get to be a standard. Uh, I also did an arrangement of Alone Together, uh, one on Jackie McLean's Dr. Jackal and Fats Waller's Jitterbug Waltz. The recording features Roberto Verastegui on piano. Uh, we were lucky enough to get Jonathan Fisher to play bass and Justin Heverin on drums. And also on two tunes, uh, Lee Shashwan came in to play trumpet and we had Catherine Christie sing on my arrangement of Alone Together. I really love how creative Roberto is. Um, I love listening to him play when he's comping and when he's soloing. And I wish everyone could hear all of his solos on the takes that we didn't use. Jonathan brought a really, really good vibe into the studio. I really liked what he brought musically, as well as some of the ideas that he had that personally helped me, because I haven't had anywhere near as much experience recording in the studio as he has. So it was really great to have him. Justin and I just seem to play on the same wavelength. But ever since the first time we played together, it's just really clicked. I really enjoyed having him play on this project. It really brought brought the sound I was looking for. Two of the things that I love most about Lee's playing are the space that he leaves when he's phrasing and the intensity that he can build. So with the combination of those two, he really, really is able to tell his story. And I was glad to capture that on this recording. Catherine's voice brought a really unique sound to the group. Um, her interpretation of Alone Together was very introspective, and the sound was, it was almost haunting, but very beautiful. I really want to mention my good friend Sean Jones, who's been sitting in the producer chair for this whole project. And he really helped me get this whole thing going, and has been really key in keeping my focus he did the recording engineering, uh, and he's going to be doing the mixing. When I first heard about Kickstarter, I was honestly enlightened. I thought, what a cool idea, what a, what a great way to show people what you're doing, what your project or your purpose is, and have it be a safe, organized way for them to contribute. As you can see, we've already done all the tracking and gotten full-length videos for two of the tunes. I was able to fund the first part of this project partially on my own and with the generous help of my grandparents. I love them very much and am forever grateful to them for supporting my music in this way. The next portion is where I really need your help. I need about $4,000 to complete the rest of this project. And those costs will go towards mixing, mastering, CD duplication, album artwork, and song royalties. Without reaching the full goal amount, the project cannot be funded by Kickstarter and thus cannot be completed, so your contribution is very important. You can pledge as little as one or two dollars if you like, and at ten dollars the music is yours. You can look at the Kickstarter website and see all the different benefits you'll get as a backer at different levels. Now, I really, really look forward to finishing this project and I look forward to having you be a part of it. 
I thank you in advance for your consideration and contributing to my project. So look forward to the album coming out in a couple months. Thank you.